Hi everybody, I'm Susie, and I just recently decided to start a YouTube tutorial channel, I guess, slash just my channel. And today I'm going to do my tutorial for Naked 3. Is that the right way? Naked 3. Uh, this is on my camera, so, or my laptop. Uh, Naked 3 Urban Decay. And we just, I just got this um, two days ago. And just yesterday I did my first makeup um, application with it. And I loved it. I took pictures and they came out really nice. So I'm excited. I removed my makeup yesterday with the uh, Neutrogena Remover Cleansing Towel. It's night calming. Um, I don't really like the alcohol -y kind of, ooh. Okay, right now I'm using Urban Decay Sin um, Eyeshadow Primer Potion. And it's basically just to keep your eyeshadow in place and from creasing and all that. So go ahead and put that on there. It's very, oh, so smooth and silky. Put that on there. Yes, baby. Um, could I uh, have a bandage? For what? See this? Oh, so that's just a hang there. Mm, but I don't want to see a lump. I don't want to see a lump. I'll get you one later, okay? Okay. Let's hold it. Okay. No, it isn't a bandage. So that's applied. And this was just a trial one that came with my palette, but I really like it. Urban Decay. I don't know if I would do the Sin one because it kind of has like a sparkly in it, but that one, I love their primer potion though. So let's get started. Um, have my little makeup towel. Just kind of clean off my brushes. Alright. Not clean them, but I guess kind of take off whatever is on there. I'm using the first color on this palette. It's called Strange, and it's a, a matte kind of whitish kind of color. And that's going to highlight my brow bone. So go ahead and highlight my brow bone. You can't really, I mean, this quality on my camera is not the greatest. Um... So go ahead and put the, put that on, and then also, I mean, you could do this probably with any, as long as you have a good primer, like a white luminous color, and I'm putting it in my tear duct, and then dragging it up a little bit more than that. Woohoo! Drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it. Okay, so it's on my inner corner. Go ahead and get my other side here. This is weird. My inner corner. And drag it up. My hands are so makeup-y right now. I don't even know. And then on my brow bone. Get that in there real good. can't really tell but it's starting to look good okay next I'm gonna use the color over it's called dust and it's a pink sparkly color you could probably you know you don't have to use this palette in particular but I like it I think it stays for a while all right and then I'm gonna sweep that over from about can you see where that's at right there All right, so go ahead and dust, dust, dust over your eyes. And that's gonna give it like a pink shimmery. Okay, on the other side, of course. You don't wanna be on one side only. All right, next I'm gonna put Buzz. And it's a purpley, 
pinkish kind of I guess plum putting that color from about the middle a little bit more than the middle to the end oh man okay and kind of put that in I'm actually waiting for my new brushes I'm excited I'm getting some Sigma brushes that I ordered online and that's exciting okay next after I did oh that was burnt wait that was buzz yeah buzz wait buzz yeah buzz <laughs> sorry I'm just making sure I didn't use the wrong one okay next I'm going to use in my crease area this one's called nooner and it's um, a matted grayish purple I guess and I wish I had my camera and um, if you bear with me I'll try to figure out some new lighting and like camera stuff because I have a camera just right now it's charging and I didn't feel like waiting because I got stuff to do today all right go ahead and put that in your crease and drag it up and down kind of I guess you can kind of see it in this camera Ooh, drag it so I'm really excited because today I'm going to get my eyebrows waxed and my hair cut and once I show you my hair you can kind of see but then and then makeup so I wanted to see what they do you know makeup application okay so with my brush that came with it so I'm guessing you can get an angled brush a small angled brush if you can kind of see it on the side you see that? I'm going to use this part and put, it's called black heart, and it's a sparkly black. You can use probably the blacks that come with your stuff. And I'm just dipping the angle, like angle tip in it like that. And I'm making a V in my outer corner. So a V, it doesn't have to be heavy. Just like that, a V. And then I'm blending it. I'm going to blend it in. So, blend it out, blend it in, whatever. Just so it looks kind of like a nice black shadowy. My kids are right in the living room right there. Okay, so it's going to look like that. I guess you can't really tell anyone. I like to blend it in really good. I don't want to look like a mess, yo. Okay, it's gonna look like a nice shadow. Dip it. So it doesn't have to be, you don't need to rub it or like go crazy on it. Just a small little dip will do. And then blend it out. Blend it, blend it, blend it. I'm kind of wanting like bangs, man. But it'll like kind of mess up if I want to grow my hair out. But I have a long ways to go before my hair is long. And I'm not going to do extensions or anything, so. Yeah. How's that look? So far, so good, huh? Like a nice little smoky, I guess, effect. All right, next. It gets really interesting. I love makeup. Okay. Right. So this came with my Tarte blush, and this is called Tipsy when I'm going to use it. This came when I ordered it. It's called Tarte Emphasize, and it's high definition eye pencil. I would I would want a liquid eyeliner, but I haven't got it yet. Hey, baby. Hey. Oh, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use a mirror. So okay. just let me go ahead and do that. Okay. Okay. I don't know if you can see me. Just draw. You guys know how to do this. Probably no better than me. Draw a line. And I'm doing a wing. Okay. 
to wing it. And then, I have to blow that one after. I'm doing my, come on. I'm doing my um, water line, but I'm kind of dragging it, I guess. I'm dragging it. And I'm going to meet the wing there. Okay. And then I'm going to do it on the other side. So, bear with me. You guys like my headband? I got it from, we have a store in our mall called Francesca's. That's a cute little shop. You know? They have like a lot of nice stuff. Oh, I'm not liking how this came out, but that's okay. I'm going to take the color Trick Hair, the middle one. It's kind of goldish. Yeah, yeah, goldish. And then sweeping it over. Kind of meet out that and blend in all these colors. Okay, trick. Go ahead and trick it out. Nice little blending kind of covers. And then get it up. Kind of where the crease color meets the other color. Yes. Okay. That is that. I have here the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express. I got the eight times volume. They have a six times volume. And go ahead and apply that. I'm not liking this. I'm not going to use a computer. Okay. And like I said, okay, I didn't say this like I wanted to say. I am no expert on makeup. I just love makeup. I think it's fun. And I hope to become, like, really good at it. I want to learn like all the tips and like proper, proper application. Looking good. Okay. No, no racing game right now. I got Revlon Color Stay and I love, 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 love this. Revlon Color Stay. It stays. It stays, but it dries really quickly. So I would recommend that if you're going to use it. Okay, hold on. This stains my hands pretty good. Come on, baby. Come on out. We want to see you. Why is this not coming out? Did I use that much already? Russell, just use your, just use a controller. So, um, I do like a little bit at a time. Because if you do too much, If you do too much, it'll like dry out before you can even rub it in. And I do, oh my gosh, I have an applicator brush for my formula, or for my foundation of formula. Um, but I can't find it. I love this stuff. Russell, just watch what's on there right now, please. I'm busy. I'll be over there later. All right. Revlon Color Stay. So, find your color. 
I think it's a great drugstore foundation. I had the, um, a while back. I had the Lancome. What was it, Lancome? I think it's Lancome. I had that one. That was pretty good. But I like this one. I really do. I really, really do like this one. Revlon color stay. Can you tell the difference there? Like, on this side you can see like all the veins, and this side you like, it's clear and nice looking. Obviously you can't because this is not the greatest camera. Ooh, I've been going on for 60 minutes now. Boom, boom. I get really veiny up like right here. Pretty veiny around my eyes. And on my like jawbone. I'm veiny. Anybody else veiny? I don't know. But this looks really nice. I love this palette, man. I got it at, um, well, my husband got it for me at Sephora in the mall. Well, our mall, I don't know anybody else. There's like veins there, big time. Okay. Huh? All right. So, my concealer, or my foundation is done now. Make sure I blend it in real good because I don't want to, like, look splotchy. All right. Good. All right. Now, wipe that off with your little makeup remover thing. You guys like my ring? I like it. It's a cross with the little cross thingy. All right, close this. We are done with our eyes. Done with our eyes, yay. Next, we're gonna go on to my Physician's Formula Bronzer. Bronze Booster Physician's Formula. Hey, mama. It says glow boosting, hey baby. Season to season bronzer, light to medium. That's me. Light to medium. If you're different, then. And I'm going to use the fall and winter colors. Got that? Mm. You got that? Mm. And then go ahead and kind of color between your apple and the jaw. Like this. Bring it up. Some more. Tap it. I'm using Tarte. It's called Tarte Tipsy. This you can get also at Sephora. I got it online, but you can get it at Sephora. I don't know where else you can get it because I haven't gone. It's um very peachy. It's peachy pink. Tipsy, it's called. They have other colors too that are nice. Russell, can you get that out of here? And of course, you do a little smile. Cheek. You can see it, right? It shows up on this. I like it. Alright. Cheese. Get those cheeks all nice. Okay, 
Now, what I'm gonna do is, you know, I've heard of highlighters. I don't really have a highlighter. What are you guys doing? Mm. Do you have a TV show on? Can you get one on? Uh, okay, uh, baby. And I'm gonna take the, uh, the, actually I used fall and summer. I'm and it's winter. All right, Russell, go put a show on, please. Okay, I'm using this ring, or the, oh my gosh, the winter one. It's the lightest color, and I'm just getting that color on there. And I'm going to apply it right above my blush. Oh, no. Don't push my lipstick. I don't want you to get that everywhere. All right, and I'm applying it right there. Boop. You know what? I completely forgot. Oh my gosh. Forget my concealer. And I'm gonna dab that. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. I don't have too bad under eyes, I guess, but. Good. Get that in there. And I have um the Revlon. Sorry, hold on. Revlon Color Stay Concealer, and it's in light medium. See if I can color up the little dark circles there. Looking good, huh? You know, I've seen this all. Can I get it like a lighter? Highlight that. Can you see it? All right. I'm almost done. Yay. Now I'm using my Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in blush. Blush. I'm not using that. I keep forgetting. Okay. Lip liner. Line those lips. Okay. I lined my lips. I don't know if you can see it. Line my lips. And I'm using Maybelline. I know it's Maybelline. Glisten Up Pink. I don't know if they still have it. In 815 Glisten Up Pink. I think my daughter played with it. It's all messed up now. It's okay. Ooh, pretty. Okay. So this is my... Yeah, crazy hair right now. Let me fix it. See all the makeup I got on me? Like that, all straightened out. This is my look. Did I miss anything? I don't think I did. So, naked palette and a bunch of Revlon stuff and Physician's Formula, which I use for my bronzer, highlighter um, in that area. And I'm gonna get my hair cut today. So I will see you guys later. Bye. Don't be ashamed to wear your crown. You're a king, you're a queen inside and out.